iDevices has made it simple to install your wall switch or dimmer switch. In this video, we'll be installing wall switches, but the wiring and setup process is exactly the same if you're installing dimmer switches. Depending on your setup, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. A voltage detector is required for identifying your existing wiring and needle nose or lineman pliers are helpful in straightening out old wires. Electrical tape is helpful to mark the line wire if it's not already marked. In the box, you will find the installation guide and a few wire nuts. Note, for a three-way installation, both switches need to be iDevices wall switches or both need to be iDevices dimmer switches for the circuit to function properly. Wall and dimmer switch work in either a single pole setup or in a three or four way setup. A single pole setup is where one light switch controls one set of lights. If you have two light switches controlling one set of lights, you have a three way setup and this video will walk you through that type of installation. iDevices products must be installed in a manner that conforms to all applicable, national, state, and local building codes. If you are unclear at any point, please contact the iDevices customer experience team. Turn off the power at your breaker or fuse panel for the appropriate circuit of your home. Turn the existing light switch on, then off, to confirm the power has been turned off. Remove the existing faceplate from one of the switches in the three-way setup. Unscrew and pull the first switch carefully out of the gang box. Repeat this process for the second location in the three-way setup. Make sure you have a neutral wire junction in each gang box. This is typically a bundle of white wires grouped together. If your gang box doesn't contain a neutral wire, your iDevices product is not compatible at this gang box location. Take a photo of your existing wiring at both locations for future reference. Start at the first switch location. Unscrew and straighten out the wire connected to the common terminal. The screw will usually be black or copper in color. Often the wire connected to this terminal will already be marked with tape. Cap this wire with one of the provided wire nuts. Head over to the second switch location and repeat the process by disconnecting and straightening the wire from the common terminal and capping it off with one of the provided wire nuts. Turn the power back on at the breaker. Using your voltage detector, test the wires you disconnected at each switch location. Only one of the two wires should be energized. The energized wire is the line wire. Mark this wire if it's not already marked. Pull out the tab on your new iDevices product and mark an X to indicate that this is the secondary switch location. Head back over to the other switch and verify the line you removed is not energized. Mark this wire with tape. This is the load wire. Pull out the tab on your new iDevices product and mark an X to indicate this is the primary switch location. Turn the power back off at the breaker. At your secondary switch location, disconnect the old switch and straighten out the remaining wires. Before we get into the installation process, we will need to identify the rest of the wires. Neutral wires will usually be white and are often bundled together. The ground wire is usually bare copper or green. One traveler wire will usually be black in color. The other traveler wire will be red.
Remove the wire nut you installed on the line wire and twist it together with the black traveler wire and the black wire on the iDevices product. Attach the white neutral bundle in the gang box to the white wire coming from the iDevices product. Install a wire nut on the traveler wire in the gang box. This wire is not needed for three-way setups. Install a wire nut on the red wire coming from the iDevices product. This wire is also not needed for three-way setups. Finally, connect the bare copper ground wire on the iDevices product to the ground wires in the gang box. Ensure the wire caps are securely fastened and carefully push the wires and switch into the gang box taking care not to pinch any wires. Screw the switch into the gang box. Install the faceplate you've chosen. Now, at the primary switch, remove the wire nut you installed on the load wire and connect it to the red wire on the iDevices product. Connect the black wire on the iDevices product to the black traveler wire in the gang box. Attach the white neutral wire bundle in the gang box to the white wire on the iDevices product. Install a wire nut on the red traveler wire coming from the gang box. This wire is not needed for a three-way setup. Finally, Connect the bare copper wire on the iDevices product to the ground wires in the gang box. Ensure the wire caps are securely fastened and carefully push the wires and switch into the gang box, taking care not to pinch any wires. Screw the switch into the gang box. Install the faceplate you've chosen Turn the power back on at the breaker and confirm that the LED on both switches light up purple. At the primary switch, hold the lower left button until the LED rapidly flashes blue, then release. Press the top rocker to enter pairing mode. The LED will slowly flash blue. At the secondary switch, Hold the lower left button until the LED rapidly flashes blue. Press the top rocker to enter pairing mode. The LED will slowly flash blue. The secondary switch will search and pair to the primary switch. The LED on each switch will rapidly blink green five times and beep five times to indicate pairing is complete. To connect to your wireless network, Press and hold the lower left button on the primary switch until the LED rapidly flashes blue, then release. Press the bottom rocker to enter the Wi-Fi connection mode. The LED will slowly flash blue. Launch the iDevices Connected app to be guided through the process of connecting your iDevices product to your Wi-Fi network. For iOS devices, you will need the HomeKit setup code located on the pull-out tab on your primary switch. Congratulations, your three-way switches configuration is now installed. If you want to learn more about your iDevices products or need additional help, head over to iDevicesInc.com support.